Fuck them kids. Welcome to the Mikal Show. What's up with our youth? What's going on with our youth nowadays? Who's actually raising our youth nowadays? I think my personal opinion, I believe Instagram models, Instagram uh, rappers, comedians, are the new teachers of this generation. In my generation, I'm a little bit older I'm in my 40s, so in my generation, we didn't really have internet. Internet was just really coming to evolve. We didn't have uh, YouTube at all. What no YouTube? That came later on down the road. I think we had we had MySpace. MySpace was the big thing then. MySpace was the big thing. MySpace and it was another one, Vine. Then were the two, the two big uh, internet sensation at that time was MySpace and Vine. So that was still new. It was an empty stage at that time. Uh, I just think the kids nowadays have a lot of different distractions along with the fact that a lot of times you got youth trying to raise youth. With this generation now, you got people that you know, they're barely 17 years older, 20 years older than their kids. So it's kind of hard to teach something that you haven't been taught yourself. Man, I hate these fucking kids. They don't give a shit about nothing. I ain't got no sympathy for nothing they going through. Nothing. No sympathy for nothing they going through at all? Nothing. Well, you got to think about it, bro. The, 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 the internet is the worst thing that ever happened. I think because the kids are so scared, take an ass whooping Who was that? and go Who viral. Was that? Who was that that said they said it best? Man, fuck these kids. <laughs> was that? Who was that? Probably Charles the White said, "Fuck these kids." Uh, I think it was. No, I think it was uh, Chris Rock. Somebody said it, but it made sense when I heard it. Yeah, yeah, back in the day, that would have been that would have been a shocking thing to say. But, but fuck today, these kids. It makes sense to me. I mean, you can say that, well, say that, but I I, I believe that it's, it's, it's too many other distractions going on, Man. and then households ain't the way they used to be. I mean, you can't you you have a hard time finding a complete and total household or what they call a nuclear family. Where you like the mother, the father, all yeah, in the household. I mean, they blaming us. They blaming us. And they're, they're the, and, and they're the reasons why. No, they're not. I don't, I don't think they're the reasons why. I think it's just about matter. Like I said, it's too many other influences. You got rappers that are rapping and they're teaching. You got uh, influences that are that are, are influencing our kids. That got more sway and more power in our kids' life than we do. It's too many other people that got more sway and more power in our kids' life than we do. Too many hands in the pot. Too many people in the kitchen cooking. When back in the day, it was just mom and dad. And every now and then, you might have big mom. You might have uh, pop Paul in the house. I don't think you have any of that. You don't have people sitting down eating dinner anymore. No one's interacting with each other anymore. Uh, it used to be you had to get in before the lights went down. And everybody was rushing to get home. Everybody wanted to get home and, and conversate. You couldn't wait to tell your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad how your day went. They couldn't wait to tell you how they they went. You know, the interaction with families was a whole lot different. You still say fuck them kids, huh? Fuck these kids. <laughs> I'm not going to say fuck these kids, man. man it's, it's our future. Kids, so if you saying fuck these kids, you saying fuck these our future, bro. Can't be, but I don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about us. And I ain't giving a shit about them. Who? That's what's after I've not already raised these motherfuckers. We done done our part. Say we done they our part. Want to, they don't want to step up to the fucking plate. They rather be out here robbing motherfuckers, killing motherfuckers, and now making money. The new getting the body is the new money maker. Getting the body is the new money maker, and then turn around and rap about it. Yeah, I get that. I get all that. I get all that. How that works? <laughs> you just ain't trying to hear none of that. It ain't all they fault, man. It's, it's a lot to do with what we allow going on with the, with the Facebook. It's, what we allowed going on, you know, like I said, Instagram. Because we used to beat the shit out of our kids. Black kids, you can't just let black kids up like white kids. Now you got black serial killers. Yep. That's the last thing you want on these streets is black serial killers. Because we're going to start we gonna start fucking competing for the most. <laughs> we like to be the best at everything. You're the best at everything. Uh, you going to have some motherfucker running around here talking about, nigga, I got a hundred bodies. Yeah. You got people that 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 they're all on that lingo. I'm the best at this. Nah, I think when 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 the government, just my opinion, when the government 
found out that the power behind black people was the family structure. Our family structure was superior in every way. And they went about breaking that completely up. And when they broke that up with uh, welfare, when they broke it up with mass incarceration, when they broke the families up with, with drugs, that's what we got left. We got we got a lot of splintered off parts where you don't have that kind of influence anymore. Where you don't have uh, the ancestry influence in the household like you used to where you had a 90-year-old great-grandmother in the house. You know what? You always got an excuse. Yeah, bad, I, it's bad, not bad, an excuse. It's reality. They murdering now because they, it is reality. they, got, it, they got fucked up when they was kids. So now they get their rights to be murdered. Shit. You always got Ch- some kind of chances excuse. are you chances are that's the case, the case for a lot of them. Chances are it's case for a lot of them because they're not coming. They're not coming out of complete households. Shit, <laughs> they're not coming out of whole households no more, man. These kids are being partially raised by their parents mm-hmm. and then fully raised by everybody else except their parents. That's what I think is going on with the youth. I don't think it's all they fault, but I don't think it's all our fault either. I mean, it's a combination. Here. They ain't asked to be here, but at the same time, shit, at some point, was you here, your shit, our folks told us, shit, you better get out there and fucking figure it out yourself. Yeah, but we have, we have righteous individuals raising us. We have people that, 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 that had, that had their mothers or their fathers in their lives. You know, that made a difference. You know, every generation that had this fucking nonsense. But they, these motherfuckers, they just took it to a whole nother. Man, this, 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 this right here ain't just... A, a new occurrence or a new event. This is something that's been going on for a while, but you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's not all they fault. I don't see it being all they fault, but you can see it the way you see it, bro. And I see it the way I see it. Nigga, fuck YMW <laughs> Fuck King Von. Fuck all these niggas. And I agree. These kids it, ain't shit. They're teaching our kids. They're the ones teaching our kids. Not, not the school system. Schools that may teach our kids ain't no more after school activities, after curricular activities, none of that sh- none of that's going on no more. So these rappers are teaching our kids and they teach them all wrong. You know why? Because they was taught all wrong. And that's a like that's a quote from NBA Young Boy, like, man, hey, uh Charles the White called himself checking NBA Young Boy, NBA Young Boy was like, man, you know what? I was taught wrong. So if I was taught wrong, I'm only giving what I was got. And he's like, you know what? I, I can't say nothing today. Talk about said that's the only friend that ever shut him up yeah. was him be a young boy. <laughs> the only one that shut him up was him. So it is is that's what I believe it is. It's just somehow, some way, the, the nuclear family got broken up and more people have more influence. Outside people have more influence on our kids than the inside people that's actually in the house with the kids. Yeah, how did that happen? How did that happen? Shit, social media, internet. That's how that happened. Yeah, we always had TV and radio. When it was time to get that homework done, you no, know, your mama told you to turn that shit off. Turn that shit off before your daddy get home and beat your ass, right? You had that. You don't have that no more. Walk not, you got situations where the mama is at home uh trying to kick it. And the kids are in the way of them kicking it. So that's why they end up being out the house and walk the not. Because they like they're in the way when they're at home with the single mama that's still you know, in her 30s. She still got a lot of life left. She still want to kick it. Or you end up, end up in a situation where you uh stand with the grandmama and the grandmama's too old to keep up with you. Too old to even uh, 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 comprehend or understand what it is you're going through. You got a lot of situations like that too. And I think that's why the youth is the way the youth is right now. It has to be a, a, a complete rehaul and a complete rewiring of people's thought process and, and how you think when you come out the house. We, we, we was raised right. We was taught to, to be respectful. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. You know, you, you were taught manners. You was raised up right. The last thing you wanted was for, for your mom to come in the house and say, hey, man, I sent the, sent the Sonya and she told me you was cussing. You know, that's the last thing you want to do. Mm-hmm. You, wanted, you want to have a good report. Right. Come back mm-hmm. to your mom at all times. Cause your mama would beat the fucking brakes off of you. <laughs> if a good report didn't come back, you know that's 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 the way it is. My mom told me that uh, the greatest honor 
is when someone compliments you on the raising of your child. Hey, you raised a good man. You raised a good woman. You know, you raised a good a good person. And I think that's what any parent really wants. They want they want their child to be out here to be happy and to be productive and to be a, a, a upstanding citizen and try to be try to be righteous if you can. No things were instilled in us, but this generation right here don't have no things instilled in them. You know, they, everybody trying to be shysty or everybody trying to uh, uh, finesse. Everybody trying to be slick and so slick. That's what's being out here. That's what the agenda is. That's what's being poured into our kids by, like I said, everybody else except who's in the household. You got to be a, a, a rewired guy. You got to start with the households. Yeah, okay. What else you got? What other fucking what other fucking excuse you got for these terrible fucking demon of children, these terrible fucking generation of babies just raised? Fuck all that. The babies raising babies. 